All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to look at standard 6.3.6. .6. Our objective is that all students will be able to apply order of operations and properties of real numbers to evaluate numerical expressions. Now you're probably thinking, why is this important? But it's actually very important. If we look at these two sample problems, we have 100 times 5 plus 9. And on the lower sample problem, we have the same thing except parentheses are added. However, we get a completely different answer. So why is this? We're going to examine the order of operations. First of all, we have a little catchphrase that we like to think of. Just like you may have learned, the planets, my very educated mother, just served us nachos. We also have a catchphrase for order of operations. You may have heard, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. But we want to change that now that we're getting older to graciously excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And graciously, similar to please, instead of just standing for parentheses, actually stands for all grouping symbols. So we could have this grouping symbol for a set of numbers or even a bracket along with the parentheses. But you're going to look for those and do those things first whenever you're solving a problem. Next we have excuse and the E in excuse actually stands for exponents exponents. You want to do the exponents after you do all the grouping symbols and everything within the grouping symbols should also abide by the order of operations. An exponent would be like 3 to the fourth power. No, that's not 3 times 4. That is actually a base number 3 with an exponent 4, which would be 3 times 3 times 3 times which equals 81 for that example. All right, the next thing we look at, we have my dear. We're looking for multiplication and division from left to right. Multiplication and division. It can be either or whenever you're doing this, but it should be done from left to right. These are written in the same step because we do them in the same step. All right, and finally we have Aunt Sally. So graciously excuse my dear Aunt Sally, and that stands for, yes, addition and subtraction. This is the last step that you should do when solving a problem. Addition and or subtraction from left to right. So now we're going to look at a couple examples. If we look at this example first, I hope you're all following the example in green. We notice that the first thing we should do is look for the G or the grouping symbols. Here we have grouping symbols, parentheses, around 2 plus 4. So we must do that part first. And then everything else will simply come down. So I'm going to move the times 2 down. I'm also going to move 20 minus down. Now I need to go back to my order of operations. And I can see the next step is to look for exponents. I don't have any of those. So I can go ahead and check that off. Then I look for multiplication and division from left to right. Here is some multiplication, so I will do that step next and bring everything else down once again, 20 minus 12. My last step, I solve the problem by doing addition and subtraction from left to right. I get the answer, 8. Let's try one more example together. Look at the example in blue. The first thing we're going to look for is parentheses or grouping signs. We don't have any, so I'm going to go ahead and put a check, so I know I checked that off. Erase my check marks from the last time. 
Then I'm going to look for exponents. Again, there aren't any exponents, so I'm going to put a check. Next, I have multiplication or division from left to right. It appears that I actually have division in front and multiplication in back. So which one do I do first? That's correct, 40 divided by 5, because we're working from left to right. So I have 8, and I'm going to bring the other stuff down. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this other multiplication part, part of the problem. 3 times 8 is 24. And again, bringing everything else down. Now, I can solve the problem by doing the final step of addition. 8 plus 24 is 32. And there's your answer. I'm going to give you one more that you can try on your own. Try doing this one using the steps and using that catch fate phrase, graciously excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Check off the steps as you work along and see if you can get the answer. Good luck. I hope this helps you out.